through uh, the extraordinary collaboration and hard work of local, state, and federal law enforcement across geographic and jurisdictional boundaries, we announce charges, including federal racketeering charges, against 34 ranking members of the Latin Kings street gang in Chicago and more, uh, as you'll hear in a moment, uh, in Indiana. Um, the cases, the charges in the Chicago cases stem from two separate but related operations. One that targeted Latin King activities uh, in the west suburbs and specifically Maywood and Melrose Park and the other that targeted Latin King activities on Chicago's south side and extending down into Indiana. Uh, Dave Cap will address you after I'm done with regard to the new defendants and new charges brought in Indiana in an indictment that stems from these same operations I just described. So an extraordinary uh, collaboration and cooperation throughout the course of these investigations to bring us to this moment. The uh, Chicago indictments contain sweeping racketeering charges, but the cases are ultimately about one thing, and that is violence. Gang violence, gun violence, senseless violence, the type of violence that plagues our communities, our neighborhoods in Chicago and beyond. The charged conduct includes things like murders, shootings, beatings, arson, extortion, retaliation. The charged conduct includes things like SOS and KOS orders, which means standing orders to shoot on site or kill on site rival gang members or even Latin King gang members who had violated gang rules. The charge conduct includes firearm offenses, using trafficking firearm, using firearm to protect gang firearms to protect, protect gang turf, using firearms to go after gang rivals. Uh, 34 ranking members of the Latin Kings, including multiple Incas, multiple uh, caciques, multiple treasurers, multiple enforcers, and um, those uh, charges are reflected in the two indictments that I just described. All of those defendants used violence to protect the Latin King's racketeering enterprise. I mentioned orders like shoot on site and kill on site. There are other orders alleged in the indictments like blast on site. In the Midwest uh, region case, there's other alleged lingo like hits and missions and burns and being sent all allegedly code for murders and shootings and beatings. And in the Midwest region case, there is an alleged attempt to uh, murder a Melrose Park police officer who was uh, assisting the FBI in connection with this investigation. Um, for all of that, they received our attention. Over the last um, few years, we have been uh, investigating actively and aggressively, including obtaining multiple court-authorized wiretaps to, uh, to listen to phone conversations, recording uh, consensual, recording conversations, meetings, um, obtaining uh, evidence from cooperating defendants as well as other witnesses, and obtaining physical evidence through subpoenas, search warrants, and other uh, sources and resources, all of which has put us in a position today to bring um, as serious and impactful federal charges as you can bring when it comes to violent crime and gang crime. Everyday Chicago police officers are out in the streets working to keep their neighborhoods safe. And through the early hours of the morning, we have worked with our partners in the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office to target a street gang contributing to the senseless violence in the city of Chicago. Through our combined effort, we are sending a clear message that if you choose a lifestyle that fuels the engine, engine of violence in our city, you will be held accountable for those actions. We have 36 uh, total defendants charged in Chicago and 20-something and, and, and in Indiana. Uh, heck yes. I think it is a major setback for the Latin King Nation operating in this region and the specific regions in these indictments. And I can't quantify for you how that looks from their perspective, but when you charge multiple Incas and treasurers and enforcers and caciques, um, that is going to be disruptive to any organization, and I believe it's disruptive to this one of these. In these operating reasons, I will say, apropos of what Mr. Cap said, we're not done. The investigations are ongoing. Uh, as long as the Latin King, Kings keep doing what they're doing, we're going to keep coming. 
and um, and and we'll see what the future brings. But in the meantime, I do think these kinds of cases are impactful. Yes, ma'am.